Tonight's 12 finalists were selected from an extraordinary 195 submissions from... At every global conference, the Global Investigative Journalism Network presents the Shining Light Awards to honour investigative journalism done under threat or duress or in challenging conditions. And the winner is... Inside the massive extrajudicial killings in Nigeria's southeast, Emmanuel Maya, Mr. Mahmoud. Reporter Emmanuel Maya uncovered multiple mass graves in southeast Nigeria, proving that police and military forces have been murdering members of a minority ethnic group. My work was on uh, extrajudicial killing, one of many, uh, by the Nigerian uh, military. Uh, it happened uh, in southeastern uh, part of uh, Nigeria, and then um, uh, where the Igbos ethnic uh, group, uh, you know, had been the target over the years. I, as a journalist, uh, we had uh, reports about such killings, and uh, I was uh, particularly incensed uh, that uh, taxpayers' money every year for more than uh, 20 years, the Ministry of uh, Defense in my country gets the high, highest budget. What do they use this money for? So all this massive military spending, well, just, you know, uh, don't, you know, uh, used most of the time to crack down on citizens, extradition killings, mass graves, and the likes. Even journalists, uh, you know, they are, they are not interested in telling the story of uh, the Igbos or, the, you know, the, the Biafrans. And um, it is a uh, uh, very, 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 s it's a sad development in my country because um, Nigeria is uh, divided across ethnic line, religious line, regional lines. I decided to do the uh, case of uh, uh, the pro-Biafran uh, killings, you know, the ethnic, uh, you know, pogrom. This sort of thing had happened before history. Uh, tells us uh, that uh, the first of such killings happened in 1967, and um, you know, uh, no, there was no uh, investigation, no, uh, nothing, you know, nothing happened. About uh, three, four years ago, uh, a community woke up and they found that uh, their only source of water, they found 40 dead bodies, and they were dumped there, decomposing bodies. Nobody knew who they were, and uh, the police made no attempt to investigate. Uh, the locals said that uh, the police came at night with a uh, truckload of such bodies. For how long will such continue to go on and without uh, people who, you know, who will tell the story? So that was why I decided to go and um, uh, uh, really do this work and then um, uh, 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 find out exactly what happened. So I needed uh, evidence. I needed to give evidence. So that means that uh, uh, we have to take photographs. And uh, so it was like a riot scene. Uh, they were shooting, and then um, I was following with my camera, bodies on the street, those that were took, taken to hospitals and uh, mortuaries. So that was how I was able to get uh, my pictures, you know, and that was actually what made the story believable. If I have done that work without the photographs, uh, it, it would have been easy for the military to get away with it. Journalist for me is not uh, a choice. Somebody has to tell the story. And then um, uh, when uh, uh, my father told me, my father was a farmer, and it's like uh, you go to the farm and then you, uh, you, you confront you know, a snake. You need to kill the snake, but you are afraid. But he also told me that the snake also is afraid. So you, the man is afraid of the snake, the snake is also afraid of the man. So that is the, you know, the way I, you know, I look at it. We try to do the best we can, I mean, to stay safe, uh, but people die every day of malaria. People die because of bad governance. People die doing good jobs, you know, not just journalists. So I think uh, yeah, a priest was murdered and other People died. Ordinary people die for, I mean, you know. Uh, so I look at it and, uh, you know, what am I you know, <laughs> going to run away from? So when I did uh, that story, and then it came out, and in fact, overwhelming reaction, it resonated across uh, 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 the southeast, and then um, across Nigeria, West Africa, where you also have um, uh, the, the Igbo ethnic groups, and then the Nigerians in diaspora. People were making photocopies of that report. They made uh, 
traders, ordinary people, you see, they were making photocopies of that report and distributing it free of charge. And that was the biggest satisfaction I got, you know, uh, yes, uh, follow, you know, following, the, following that report.